हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टारगेट आई एस थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैव मैसेज मी दैट दे हैव एन्जॉयड माय ई एस सी हैक सीरीज एंड देयर कैलकुलेशन स्पीड इन सॉल्विंग ई एस सी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स हैव ड्रेस्टिकली इम्प्रूव आफ्टर वॉचिंग फर्स्ट थ्री मॉड्यूल्स इन फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल यू हैव सीन मल्टीप्लीकेशन राइट इन सेकेंड मॉड्यूल्स आई हैव थॉट यू हाउ टू डू स्क्वेयर रूट्स क्यूब रूट्स मल्टीपल रूट्स राइट एंड देन आई हैव थॉट यू इन द मॉड्यूल थ्री आई हैव थॉट यू स्क्वेयर्स क्यूब्स एंड थ्री बाई फाइव फोर बाय फाइव ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ पावर्स नाउ इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू डू डिविशन ओके सो देर आर बेसिकली टू स्टेप्स बट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज डिविशन सो दैट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट विल हेल्प यू सॉल्व कॉम्प्लेक्स डिविजन ओके सी सिंपल डिविजन नो वन इज वरीड अबाउट यू ऑल नो वॉट इज टेन डिवाइडेड बाई टू और फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री बट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिग नंबर्स ऑड नंबर्स विच आर क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट टू डिवाइड सो you have to understand the concept of division first of all let us say there are 10 kg of rice okay 10 kg rice and it is costing you 500 rupees okay 500 rupees so what is the cost cost is 500 rupees how many units you have you have 10 units so what is the cost of 1 kg rice or what is the cost of 1 unit rice okay 1 unit ka cost kitna ho jayega the total cost whatever you have so what is it cost Divided by the number of units you have, right? Units. I hope you are getting it right. So whenever you see a number, it could be something like three five eight zero divided by twenty nine. It doesn't matter. You can relate it as the cost of one unit of item. Okay. I hope you are getting it right. So that it will be very easy for you. Now use this common sense. Okay. So one unit price is five hundred divided by ten. Okay, if I am increasing the unit by one instead of ten, if I am writing one more, that is eleven. I am making one more. How much I should add in numerator? Obviously, in denominator I have added one unit. So in the numerator I have to add cost of one unit. What is cost of one unit? Obviously, here from here I got five hundred by ten. Cost is fifty rupees. One unit. Cost is fifty rupees. So obviously, I have to add fifty rupees, right? So instead of one unit, if I am adding two units in denominator, ten plus two, how much I should add? I should add the cost of two units. How many units I have added? So two units' ka cost kitna ho jayega? Each unit is fifty, so two units will be hundred. So now you see it. So whatever I have done, five hundred by ten is equals to see this part, which is nothing but five hundred and fifty divided by eleven is equals to this part. Which is nothing but six hundred divided by twelve. So each and everything, what is the answer? Fifty. It doesn't matter, right? I hope you are getting it right. So you can write this as even if you want to continue, you can write it as thirteen seven hundred divided by fourteen. So on, your answer will be fifty only. Concept समझ नहीं आ गया. So we are using the same logic. So whenever you have some complex term, for example. Three five eight zero divided by twenty nine. What I am doing is I am adding one unit and making thirty, and I have to add corresponding value to it. Oh, value kitna rahega? Let us try to understand. Okay, so let us take one example. Example will be same example three five eight zero divided by twenty nine. It is quite complicated, right? Because twenty nine is a odd number. You cannot factorize. Cancelling it is definitely a headache for you. Right, so twenty nine table is also difficult to remember. So I don't think many people will find it attractive to solve. So how to do it? What I can do is I can approximate these values. Okay, what I can do is I can approximate these values. What is the nearest uh, number which I can take? Three thousand five hundred and eighty. I can take as well three thousand six hundred, right? Because B start kar do, so three 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 thousand six hundred will come. And here the nearest approximation is thirty. Right. So, if I am doing this, three hundred divided by three thousand six hundred divided by thirty, what I will be getting? I will be getting three sixty divided by three, which is nothing but one twenty. So you got one twenty as your answer. Now use your common sense. Okay. So if you are increasing. This units by one place twenty nine plus one kar rahe ho. What you have to do three thousand five hundred and eighty plus cost of one item. What is the cost of one item? Approximate cost one twenty rupees. One twenty. You have to add karna hai. So now see the magic. This will be thirty. What will be this value? You can clearly see that is three seven zero zero because 
ट्वेंटी अगर ऐड करोगे तो थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस वन इज थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड सो दिस कैलकुलेशन इज वेरी सिंपल फॉर यू राइट सो थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री टू जा सिक्स वन बज गया सो ऑब्वियसली वन इफ यू आर सेंडिंग देर यू विल बी गेटिंग थ्री सो वन इज लेफ्ट अगेन यू विल बी गेटिंग थ्री या समथिंग राइट सो द टू सॉरी दिस थ्री फाइव एट जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी नाइन इज नथिंग बट वन ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सो लेट एस क्रॉस वेरीफाई थ्री फाइव एट जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी नाइन वॉट इज द आंसर यू आर गेटिंग वन ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फोर हियर आई गॉट वन ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सो पॉइंट में तो आपको इतना फर्क नहीं रहेगा लाइक दिस यू कैन डू कॉम्प्लेक्स डिविजन समझ में आ गया आपको Now I will teach you one more important concept. After that, we will solve one more division, and it will be perfect. See, always it is easy to divide the numbers which are like five, twenty-five, one twenty-five, etc. See, now let us try to understand. If you have some number, let us take example eleven divided by five. See, whenever you have one by five, just make this ten. Whatever you have the denominator, make it ten. Or corresponding, if you have a unit place. Then make it ten. If you have like a number like twenty five, two digits are there. Make it hundred. Okay, I hope you are getting it right. समझ नहीं आ गया. If you have one twenty five, three digits are make it thousand. How to make it? Very simple. You know it. If you have five, one by five, how can you write? You can write it as two by ten. End of story, right? So whenever you have eleven by five, it is nothing but eleven into two by ten, right? Eleven into two by ten, which is nothing but twenty two by ten or two point two. Right, I hope you are getting it. Now let us see one more example, which is thirty-five divided by twenty-five. Whenever you have twenty-five, make it hundred. Make this number hundred. How to make it? Very simple. It is nothing but thirty-five into four by hundred. Right. So whenever you have one by five, you can use it two by ten. Whenever you have one by twenty-five, you can use it four by hundred. Right. So this value is very simple. It could be thirty-five by twenty-five is little bit easy, but if you have some big number. Some eleven hundred and thirty-five. Then obviously, if you are writing that eleven hundred and thirty-five, whatever number eleven thirty-five into four by hundred, it gets very easy for you because multiplication is very much convenient compared to division, right? So thirty-five into four, how much is it? Ah, uh, four fives are twenty, four threes are twelve, twelve plus two is four. So one forty divided by hundred, which is nothing but one point four. So you will be getting in fraction of seconds. You can calculate it in your brain and tell the answer. So similarly, if you have one twenty five, three digits are there, make it thousand. So for example, one eleven divided by one twenty five. So how you can write? You can write it as eight by thousand. See, always remember, one by one twenty five is nothing but eight by thousand. You can relate it, right? Not at all a big deal. Right, so one eleven into eight by thousand, so eight 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 divided by thousand, which is nothing but point eight eight eight. End of story. So whenever you have five or twenty five or one twenty five, it gets very much easier. And if you have a division like, let us say fifteen, right, some number like one 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 divided by fifteen or whatever it is. So what you can do, you can obviously whatever number you have into three. Into five, right? You can factorize, right? So whenever you have five, you can just write it as two by ten, right? I hope you are getting it. So now you just have to divide by three. That's it. It will be very convenient for you. I hope you are getting it. So whenever you have five or multiples of five, it is very easy for you to do the divisions. A point, आपको clear है? Let us let us take some more examples, and I will stop this module. Let us take some random number four. Nine eight zero divided by let us take ninety eight. Okay, so how to solve this? Is it easy for you? No, it is. It looks quite complex, right? Ninety eight dara. So what you can do? You can go for approximation. You can use five thousand divided by hundred, right? So nearest numbers. I am doing just doing approximation. So each value is like fifty rupees. So what I can do is ninety eight. I am making it hundred. So obviously, how much I have to add? Four nine eight zero plus. Here, pe two unit ka cost bada raha hai hundred rupees. So what I'm getting five zero eight zero divided by hundred. So fifty point eight is my answer. Fifty point eight is my answer. Let us cross check four nine eight zero divided by ninety eight. So how much is it? Fifty point eight is my answer. So fifty point eight one is exact answer. What I got? Fifty point eight is my answer. Simple, eh? Is there any difficulty here? No, right? But chon jaise dikh raha hai ka division, right? So let us solve one more thing, and let us solve one more calculation in the quick time. Okay, uh, let us take fifty one. Ye thoda naya rahega. Fifty one and number. Let us take anything is fine. Let us take nine five four zero. 
it sounds good right 9540 divided by 51 obviously it sound little bit complex what i can do is i mind me kar lunga mai i need not even do on a paper approximation this should be around 9500 iska niche ka kya rahega 50 rahega so i am just seeing it as 150 something so 190 something right so 950 divided by 5 it should be around 190 or 200 something like that so 190 ke aas pass aa raha hai i can directly go for around 200 mai upar subtract kar dunga so that is 9350 divided by 1 unit i am subtracting that will be 50 so this is gone so 934 divided by 5 you can divide or what you can do 934 into 2 divided by 10 ye bhi kafi simple rahega so you can just use it 8 6 9 18 सो so, 187 सेवन इज़ योर आंसर 187 एटी सेवन इज़ योर आंसर ठीक है अप्रॉक्सीमेशन मेथड में आपको एग्जैक्ट होने की जरूरत नहीं है इवन इफ यू आर गेटिंग वन नाइनटी आई हैव सब्सट्रैक्टेड टू हंड्रेड इट डजेंट मैटर योर आंसर विल बी वेरी क्लोज ओनली सो लाइक दैट यू कैन सॉल्व एंड दिस आंसर इज वन हंड्रेड एंड सम एटी सेवन वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी सेवन सो लेट एस सी नाइन फाइव फोर जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी वन हाउ मच यू गॉट वन एटी सेवन सो दैट्स हाउ इट दैट्स हाउ यू विल बी गेटिंग इट विदाउट मच प्रॉब्लम यू विल बी गेटिंग आंसर करेक्टली इवन ऑन अप्रॉक्सीमेशन मेथड यूजिंग दिस मेथड ओके हैव अ नाइस डे सी यू इन आवर नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल